Welcome aboard, folks. Apologize for the uh, issues earlier. I had a transformer blow up uh, actually on our street, and I'm actually <laughs> down here at the Boca Resort. So hopefully it's uh, it's not too loud for you all, but welcome aboard. Have about an hour, and we have a lot to talk about. Exactly, the Eagle has landed. No, it's okay. There's uh, FPNL folks uh, outside. Uh, and my wife just told me so. Hopefully we get our power back soon. So thankfully it's not a uh, not a hurricane. All right. So let's go ahead and get airborne. Uh, folks, last week was um, incredibly busy. Markets going higher, markets going higher. And then Friday came, uh, and I called Friday uh, a, a Ron Burgundy market. Uh, hey, that escalated uh, quickly, and we went downhill pretty fast. I'm going to talk about some of the recent events going on. I'm going to leave you with an actionable uh, trade today, a, kind of a top secret tactic that I teach folks here at Top Gun Options called a double vertical. But before I get airborne, that hundreds and, man, one of the biggest crowds I've seen, let me ask you uh, a question. Before we do any brief, uh, I want to know what your current short-term strategic mindset is on the market. And you can only be one of four things in my experience, folks. been doing this for about 27 years. You can be bullish, you can be bearish, you can be volatile, or you can think we're going to chop sideways and kind of be neutral. So let me see. Everybody kind of throw your answer in there. Bullish, bearish, volatile, or neutral. Bullish, bear, volatile, chop, bull, bullish, bearish, bearish, volatile, bearish, volatile, volatile, bearish. Bullish, volatile, bearish, bearish to neutral. Bullish with a lot of exclamation points, Ricky. Okay. Uh, and uh, perma bear, Cynthia. Okay. Well. Geez, uh, that was one of the choices, but I like it. You know what's really cool, folks? When you're an options trader, we don't care what, <laughs> whether the market's going up, down, or sideways. We can potentially profit uh, in any market condition. But real quick, I, I have a question for you guys as well. How many of you trade with a broker uh, that lets you trade off the left side of a chart? N nobody, right? Nobody can trade off the left side of a chart. So I'm going to teach you today a little bit about how to use your thinking brain, our strategic, operational, uh, and tactical mindset here at Top Gun Options because you're really you, – you, you're – kind of trying to predict the future, right? And that's what we do with planning. Planning allows us to project our thoughts forward in space and time so we can influence events rather than react to them, folks. Watch a lot of people who trade off the left side of a chart, and uh, it, it's – a lot of people at cocktail parties trade off the left side of charts. We don't. So today I'm going to teach you a top secret tactic that I teach to Top Gun uh, folks. It's called a double vertical because, as Jeanette uh, told you my t uh, title, how to target profits in a hostile environment, man. We are really, really, really running out of airspeed uh, off this, you know, the October 3rd Fed killed uh, capitalism and then the Fed saved capitalism. Okay. So let's go ahead and get airborne. As Jeanette said, my name is Matthew Buckley, folks. You can call me Wiz going forward. That's not an insult. I actually take it as a compliment because my uh, that's my call sign. I earned flying the F-A-18 Hornet for the United States Navy for about uh, 15 years. Got to fly in a bad guy jet over Pakistan. Got to fly with the Blues. Uh, they're actually going to be down here in Fort Lauderdale in a couple weeks. Gonna, uh, one of my best friends is the boss, uh, the flight lead of the Blue Angels. Can't wait to see him. Uh, was an LSO, a landing signal officer. The guy with the short, you know, really sharp haircut on the right uh, is me helping uh, fellow aviators get aboard uh, the boat day or night. Uh, I did that as well and also flew 44 combat sorties uh, over southern Iraq. There's the Persian Gulf right there, folks. If you ever wanted to know what it looks like, you ready for this? Kuwait, Iraq, Iran, aircraft carrier. <laughs> it really is like, a, we called it the Persian Gulf Lake Club. What's this have to do with trading? Absolutely everything. Okay. How many, uh, real quick though, how many of you made over seven grand this week on two trades? I'm going to show you our, our bearish China trades. We had a weekly options trade uh, that expired. We placed Tuesday, Tuesday in a live trade brief, FXI. We use FXI to trade China. It's the iShares China ETF. Check this out. We did this uh, live trade brief. You see this? 19 March. It's a weekly options brief. We looked at a 45 and a half, 46 bear call spread. You ready for this? That was risking $5,600. You see this? Why are you looking at that first, Wiz? Because I'm a Hornet pilot and an options trader, and we always, always, always look at max risk first. 
That trade closed yesterday for a max profit of 2,400 bucks. Hell of a lot. Uh, and we also had a, a bearish China trade that we put last week when I was down uh, out in Aspen doing spring break uh, with the kids. So two trades on um, FXI. Remember, men line numbers don't. So uh, there you go, FXI. Look at our last week, uh, two trades on FXI. 70 uh, over seven grand right there. Very, very happy with that. Um, and I'm going to show you how, and we're going to stay bearish on China, folks. Two trades, max risk of 10 grand, nice 70% return uh, on risk. But what's flying combat or being a naval aviator have to do with trading? Everything. Folks, trading is a form of combat when you think about it. Somebody's going to lose, and somebody ain't going to go home happy or not go home at all. Uh, so I, when I was a young naval aviator, I applied everything I was learning, flying a fighter jet, having a strategy, implementing tactics, being disciplined, contingency planning, knowing when to get out of a bad situation uh, before it got worse or better. Guess what happened to me? My trading, I was you folks, I was a little old lowly retail trader, right? But my results were so powerful, I popped up on uh, the radar of one of the largest volatility equity options trading firms in the world. Everybody knows this building, right? This is the CBO, it's the CBOT, Chicago Board of Trade, it's the intersection Jackson and LaSalle, that was my trading firm right there kind of got called up from the miners uh, and helped build a hedge fund, uh, helped build the retail brokerage options house, uh, essentially helped run this two and a half billion dollar firm, right? And then I was the founder and CEO of the Options News Network, kind of the CNBC for options. Uh, we, you know, go behind the scenes, we shoot on the floor of the CBO and the CBOT and give folks like you a behind the scenes look at what was going on in the options market. And I'd be lying if, you, if, if I told you I didn't feel like Valentine in trading places, uh, you know. But I gotta be honest with you folks, at the end of the day, all these people in Wall Street, they, they ain't the smart money that you think they are. You're just as smart, if not smarter. I gotta be honest with you, when I went into some of these rooms and I'm like, wait a minute, if I'm the smartest person in this room, you know, we're all in a lot of trouble here. All right, so that's a little bit about me because you don't want to uh, do any sort of trading or listen to anybody if you don't get a little bit of, uh, about their background. So let's go ahead and uh, get airborne. Let me share with you real quick uh, some of our long-term bullish position. These are the sectors and the names we're targeting, and you can do this with options. We can go, we can hop in our Hornet. I wish I could hop my Hornet, go the speed of light, go the speed of light out to January of 2021, and here's what we're, we're long on. Amazon, uh, obviously, the, Amazon's the Death Star, folks. It's a $3,000 stock in a year from now. Take that to the bank. What's XLY? Well, sometimes our bullish positions on Amazon, synthetic stock or a long call diagonal, geez, I mean, even if we all like cobbled through our money into a pot, we could maybe do about one contract. So what we do is we use the XLY. It is a good proxy for Amazon. Why? because Amazon makes about 21.9 or 2% of the XLY, it's the consumer uh, services. So instead of using, you know, since we can't get super bullish with Amazon, uh, uh, since it's a high price stock, we use the XLY. So you can Google that, there's, well, I can't stand Nike, and Nike's earnings imploded yesterday, but Nike's in there, Starbucks, uh, Home Depot. So we use uh, Amazon or XLY, we have our SIN stock, love MGM. We'll talk about that when you become a member. Our defense stock is Raytheon. Now, some folks are like, oh, I love Boeing. How are you loving Boeing now? I'd be doing a bearish double, we have been doing bearish double verticals on Boeing and printing money. Boeing is in a world of hurt. Folks, you don't want to trade a Boeing, uh, a, General a General Dynamics, Lockheed Martin. You know why? Look at the single stock risk that they have. Look at Boeing. Ground their fleet. Indonesian Air canceled a $6 billion order two days ago. The FBI is criminally investigating. Even before the mishap reports come out, there's criminal investigations. Well, why would you trade Raytheon, Wiz? Raytheon is the guts of all of that stuff. I sat behind a Raytheon product for 15 years. Probably explains why I'm losing my hair. But the Raytheon makes the guts of an aircraft, of a submarine, of a ship. So you gotta love Raytheon, that's our defense pick. Finance, we're in Visa. We used to be trading the hell out of Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, all those guys, they're done, folks. This week when the Fed officially gave up, they're done. All those 
Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan's, uh, they're done, folks. And and the regional banks over with as well. You want a good bearish uh, trades, uh, uh, short the, uh, the regional banks. Transport, we love our CSX. Even though Washington is beset by gridlock, the one joint area where I think everybody stood up and, and cheered with the President's State of the Union was what? Infrastructure. The President's three R's, railroads, runways, and roads. CSX has exploded since we've gotten into it. It's a great long. Now, I'm going to take these, I used to call this these Captain Kirk trades, right? EWZ used to be a Captain Kirk trade, and what do I mean by that? Everybody remember Captain Kirk boldly going where nobody's going? EWZ is what? It's the Brazilian ETF. Folks, this has been absolutely printing money for us. Bolsonaro, who was up in uh, Washington meeting with uh, Trump this week, is they call him the Trump of the tropics. The Bovespa, uh, which is the Brazilian stock exchange, has seen a rip your face off rally uh, underneath this newly elected Trump of the tropics. The market down there is reacting as if this dude's going to, uh, or at least their market is going to react at least like our markets did. So I'm going to pull that out of the Captain Kirk trade. We've been printing money on EWZ. I'll show you that in a couple minutes. And then FXI. Um, FXI, not a Captain Kirk trade anymore before uh, when I thought we were going to get a trade deal done and everything was going to be in a nice, neat bow. I was going to look to get long on FXI. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, you ready for this huge prediction? You know what? Let me ask you guys. Let me get a quick uh, show of hands here. Let me pull up FXI real quick. How many of you – all right, let's, let me say it like this because I'll give us an easy answer. Trump gets a trade – you know, Mnuchin – uh, Wilbur Ross, who I call Mr. Magoo, the Commerce Secretary, uh, Lighthizer, all these guys are getting an airplane next week to go to China to maybe wrap up a trade deal. Maybe, from what I'm hearing from through the trees here, we might see a signing ceremony up the street from me in Mar-a-Lago in June. How many of you, th is the market going to, here's, here's your three choices. We get a trade deal signed. Market goes up, market stays the same, or market goes down. Up, same, or down? Type your answer now, and I'll let you know what I think is going to happen when we get a trade deal signed. And I'm going to place a trade based on that. Trade deal signed, up, down, or same? Up, up, same, down, up, sell the news, down, 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 up, down, same, up, 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 sign equals up, especially the China stock, same, down, up. Okay, guys, so one of the reasons I'm reading all of these out loud and just to show you that everybody, look at this. Let me just take a screenshot here. You see all these? Everybody has a different answer, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, and well, you know, let, let me finish my little bit of a presentation after our, uh, our sector thing because I, you're all right, but at the end of the day, folks, um, yeah, and Mary, I agree with you. I think it's already priced in. I believe, you ready for this? And up until about three months ago, folks, I said, once the president signs a trade deal, you're going to see a rip-your-face-off rally that's going to make 2017 look like a bear market. I said that up until two months ago. You ready for this? That's not going to happen, and the market's going to sell on the news. And I'll tell you why. Real quick, before we get into our trades, uh, because, uh, you know, uh, e e track record uh, is very, very important. 2018 was one of my best years trading. 26, 27 years of doing this. This was our best year. Top Gun Options has been around for about nine, uh, 10 years, folks. Um, and we had an absolute blast. You ready for this? Our worst portfolio that I'm embarrassed about last year was our retirement, our conservative portfolio, 101% return on risk. That's my embarrassment. Uh, so let's take a look. And we're crushing the, quote, smart money in the hedge funds, folks. They actually uh, ain't that smart, okay? Look at the uh, hedge fund uh, performance in the past. Everybody thinks, oh, Wiz, I, I wish I, should, uh, I could be in a hedge fund. Look at their returns, 2015, 2016, 17, 18. Look at 2019 year to date, right? Uh, targeting profits in a hostile market, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, target either – we're going to get bearish on, uh, on hopefully two names, but at least one name based on the, uh, the time uh, of the webinar here. But real quick, there is our primary live trade brief portfolio from 2018, up 188 grand based on $100,000 model portfolio. There is our weekly options and urgent alert, 106%. We loved – trading the SPX last year. Uh, and then here's, like I said, our embarrassment. Uh, 
about 100 even. JP Morgan, we pounded the hell out of JP Morgan, had a great time uh, last year. Here's what I want to do. Because, uh, like I said, with Jeanette, uh, I, I screwed up Jeanette's schedule here, so I want to keep us on time. Real quick, just listen to a couple uh, current TGO members. Greg trading Amazon. Uh, Amazon long call diagonal from July is up 28 grand in six months. TGO is the bomb. Uh, been here almost a month. Really enjoy your trade briefs. You have the best methodology of trading encountered yet. I like that. Uh, Arnie. Trading a small account, I'm up over 75% in three months following your insights and tactics. Very happy. JG, like to thank you, Wiz. Thanks to TGO and your mentoring. I've netted over 15 grand this month. Appreciate that, JG. Ron, thanks for the 36 grand so far this year. Scotty, I remember this was a couple weeks ago. Scotty's up 8,200 bucks in two weeks on Facebook, SPX, and Amazon that we are trading. Uh, Diane. Loves our Raytheon. She's up over 10 grand in the last two months with a couple contracts. And Tamara, she's one of my superstars, man. This, she's your stereotypical little old lady in tennis shoes. Didn't even know what a stock or option was two years ago. I actually met her in person at our first live Top Gun Options event down in Miami. Look at that. So excited. This is the best eight days of trading in the past year. Yes, it was a year ago this week. I started full throttle training. My portfolio is up 412% in eight days. Okay. So, Let's actually get to it. Here's why I believe this is going to be a sell on the news. So first of all, does everybody remember about a year ago? And I'm going to be honest with you folks. As a military man, a former military man with a lot of buddies still in uniform, uh, I get a lot of, uh, uh, let's, let's just say, I, I, I get a lot of intel. I sailed through these waters. I sailed through disputed waters. I've uh, participated in the defense of Taiwan exercises when I was on the Kitty Hawk kind of know my stuff in the region. You ready for this, folks? China could care less about a trade deal. Two months ago, I briefed uh, Top Gun Options members of a Chinese admiral. One of, I think he was kind of like their chief of naval operations. You know what he said? We could care less about a trade. The guy's like, trade deal, what are you talking about? This is about our strategic dominance moving the United States out of the Pacific and us being a world superpower. Ladies and gentlemen, China, the three big centers of gravity that we need China to, ch to change are what? Stealing everything that's not locked down. The Wall Street Journal had a report the other day that said uh, China's hacked into just about every maritime university here in America. Why? To steal our submarine secrets. Does anybody remember Kraft Heinz being bought about four or five years ago? The People's Liberation Army was is hacked into Goldman's and everybody's email accounts. They trade off this folks. Does anybody believe that if President Xi signs an agreement, a trade deal, that they're going to stop stealing our intellectual property, or that China is going to stop subsidizing their nation's companies? Somebody tell me that you're going to believe this. Love or hate Donald Trump, folks, I believe he is going to look like Neville Chamberlain. Remember Neville Chamberlain? I have a signed document from Adolf Hitler. There will be peace in our time. Famous last words. Donald Trump's going to wave a piece of paper in his hands up at Mar-a-Lago. We got a trade deal with China. It's not going to be worth the paper that it's printed on, folks. The market is starting. Exactly. Uh, uh, good. I'm, uh, I'm glad a lot of people are using their thinking brains, folks. This is bad. One of the negotiating uh, sticking points right here is the fact that we, good on us, are saying what? Hey, man, we want the uh, unilateral right to reimpose sanctions if you guys are cheating. And the Chinese are already balking at this because they know they're going to. So, folks, and a lot of you were right. You know, we might get, you ready for this? We might get an initial short-term pop out of, yay, we got a trade deal. Because the market doesn't like uncertainty, right? Mr. Updike was talking about volatility and, you know, markets, markets like certainty. Right now, if you're a CFO or a CEO of a big company and you're in kind of this China trade war crap, once you see something printed like, okay, now I can do math, right? Now I can sit here and say, all right, well, maybe our earnings are going to be this if I know tariffs or that. But at the end of the day, folks, it's, uh, you're going to remember this presentation. I'm telling you right now, and I was one of the guys back here that said, oh, we're going to have a rip your face off rally. The more I get into it, the more I believe it is going to be a massive sell on the news. Mel, I don't disagree. I mean, the, the, the one of the reasons, and I had heard that 
you know, the president was going to be down here in March to sign a deal. He's actually down here this weekend. I went flying yesterday out of uh, Pompano Executive, and there's a TFR, a temporary flight restriction, right around Palm Beach. So the president's down here, but folks, that the Chinese don't want their president flying around the world to kiss Donald Trump's ring and have him get up and walk out of the uh, a meeting, right? So they want this thing airtight. So all the guys are jumping on an airplane, heading out to China to go out there and, and try and tighten things up. I am telling you, folks. And what happened yesterday? Yesterday, the United States agreed to sell a bunch of uh, uh, main battle tanks and also 66 F-16s to who? Taiwan. Does everybody know their global history? What's the global history say? China and President Xi at the beginning of the year of this year gave his State of the Union speech and said, we will take back that renegade province. Folks, we have an agreement to defend Taiwan. Does anybody think this is going to go on forever? Under the previous administration, the Chinese moved their border, the, the border of their country, 600 miles into the Pacific, folks. Does everybody know that happened? Here's China. Here's a bunch of atolls that at low tide China brought barges out, dumped dirt on them, built runways, and now have missiles and airplanes on them and said, hey, this is new China. To Trump's credit, what's he doing? He's sailing ships right through the middle of here, and we're getting yelled at. So, folks, while your eyes are all focused on trade deal, I'm focused on what's really going on. Don't focus on what they are trying to tell you to focus on. Focus on what is going on behind the scenes. I'll tell you, I brought up the Blue Angels earlier in this presentation. The next time you go to an air show... You want to know where the best air show is? Not in front of you. It's behind you. It's funny because everybody looks at me like, well, you're looking. I'm like, look behind what's going on. Watch the guys rejoin. You want to see some airmanship? These guys point at each other, have about 300 knots of closure, and stop almost on a dime right in formation. Look behind you. Same thing with trading here. We have been printing money lately in FXI. Last Friday out in Aspen, I put on a bear call spread that expired for 2400 bucks. To, uh, Tuesday of this week, I put on a bear call spread that also expired for 2400 bucks. What am I going to do right now? I'm going to tell you about a top secret tactic that many of you don't know about. Does, is, does this look like a bullish chart? Does anybody think when Mnuchin lands in China, Monday or whenever it is, he gets off the plane and says, we have a trade deal. There is not one piece of bullish information about the trade deal. How about a year ago? The president on his way out to the helicopter with the APU running in the background would scream, just got off the phone with Xi, going to be a huge trade deal. It's great. Market would go up. What happens now? Larry Kudlow, the market whisperer, or Steve Mnuchin, they get on TV and go, everything's great with the trade deal. The market doesn't move, folks. We're done. So you're ready for this? I'm going to teach you a tactic, ladies and gentlemen, where you need three R's. And I want you to sit up straight and listen to me if you've been clubbing in the Bahamas for the past 41 minutes or 30 minutes. You need to be really, really, really something. And I'm not joking when I say this. The tactic that I'm going to teach you is called a double vertical. I call it, it's essentially an afterburner trade. You want to see a violent move in the direction of your mindset. In this case, I am bearish on FXI. And I, I was torn before I got on the air here. I'm, I'm glad I was a little late with Jeanette because I'm like, you know what? It's a coin flip. This is Boeing, ladies and gentlemen. Let me, let me you know what? I'll, I'll toss it out to you guys. Boeing is in a lot of trouble. Six billion dollar order cancellation. The FBI is investigating a criminal. The FBI doesn't wake up one morning and go, eh, you know what, I'm bored. Let's go look into some Boeing stuff. They believe somebody broke the law. Does anybody know how much China has ordered in Boeing aircraft? I don't, I, I did Dr. J the other day on CNBC is like, ah, Airbus can't pick up that slack. You're wrong, Dr. J. They absolutely could. If China, I, I think it's like a $102 billion order for $24 billion. Thanks, Fitzroy. So here, I'm kind of torn in my presentation here. This is a ledge, folks. Does anybody want to get long? And this is a falling knife. You know, from when the news broke, I could not disagree more with the president grounding the 737 maxes. Absolutely one of the dumbest things the guy's done. The Lion Aircraft, the, the, the guy in the right seat 
the co-pilot in the Ethiopian air crash had 200 hours in the airplane, folks. I'm sitting here in the Boca Resort, staring out at the beach. There's a banner uh, plane that flew by 20 minutes ago. That dude's got more than 200 hours. It's in, it's the pilots. Fly the airplane. Don't, don't get me started. I won't rant about that. But, folks, this is a ledge, and this is going lower. I want to either pound Boeing or FXI into the dirt with this kind of secret tactic I'm going to teach you. You guys pick. You right? Because it's the same tactic. Go. Eli, Boeing, either BA or FXI. Let's take a vote. Oh, Kevin, that's awesome. Thank his uh, – I'll write his name down. Text – that sounds familiar. Bob's a Boeing. Looks like a lot of Boeings here. Anybody want to pound China or just Boeing? You got it. <laughs> both. Well, t uh, Tim, you want both. You're going to become a member here in a little bit. Well, I'll tell you what, folks. Let's do Boeing, but guess what? The same tactic you're going to use on FXI. It's called a bearish double vertical. So you ready for this, folks? I am really, really, really bearish on Boeing. There is not going to be any bottom on this, really, really, really. So I got my three R's. So if you guys are relatively new to options or you maybe understand options, you know that if you believe something is going down, what could you do? Well, Wiz, in my limited options experience, I could buy a bear put spread. Okay, and that would make my skin crawl. Let me ask you, this is going to sound like a master of the obvious question, right? Moto. I had a, one of my best friends in my squadron, his call sign was Modo, Master of the Obvious. If you, let me ask, and I want answers. If you think this thing, Boeing is going to go down, what do you also think it's not going to do? I'll repeat it slowly. It's not a trick question. If you think Boeing is going down, what do you think it's also not going to do? Howard got it. Colt got it. Guy got it. Mary, exactly. So, folks, if you think something's going down, you also think it's what? Not going to go up. I know that sounds kindergartenish, but listen to me because here's how I'm going to place these trades. If you don't think something's going to go up, what could you do? Well, we could do a tactic called a bear. You got it, Chaz. You could do a bear call spread, right? So let's do that. Let's start with doing a bear call spread. And where would I do it? I'm telling you folks, this 380 is a ledge and Boeing's gonna fall off of it. I was doing some more reading on Boeing here uh, as I was sitting here waiting to go on the air. It is, there you go, Tim, you're, you're, reading, you're reading my notes here. So let's sell a bear call spread. And with this bearish double vertical, folks, this is a, it's an afterburner trade. My time frame is going to be very, very, very short, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. What did I say that ledge was? Uh, hang on, let me, uh, right around three, ah, 370-ish. I'm going to look to sell. I'm going out to April 12th. Let me buy these. Let me throw in just some contracts here, and then I'm going to build, uh, I'll build out the trade. Uh, we can go more than that. Uh, you know what, let's go up to that. Three, maybe 375, 370. All right, so let me build this trade here. So, ladies and gentlemen, what is on your screen right now, right, is what is called a bear call spread. Okay, and I could probably do 30 contracts of these. 30 of these. That's pretty close. I'm going to get you up to my SOP. My SOP is I don't want to risk more than five grand on any one trade. All right, so here we go. So, right now on your screen, folks, I'm looking to sell. 35 of the April 12th. Why April 12th? Folks, if there's more bad news about Boeing, it's going to come out soon. And remember, folks, stocks go down faster. A hell of a they They take the escalator up, right, and the elevator down. In this case, I think we're going to take the window down, so to speak. So John, I'm going to ask, guys, you're, you're getting way ahead of me. Some of you are like, hey, why not buy puts? Listen to me first. Why not just buy puts? I think that's not a good idea. I'm cheap. If you think something's going down, guys, right? Wiz, I think you're right. Boeing's going to implode here. Let's buy some. Well, why don't you do, look at on the screen, folks. Does everybody see what type of spread this is? This, folks, is called a credit spread, right? We're getting paid to do this. And in this case, we're getting, we're bringing in a credit of 3,300 bucks. 3,300 bucks. 
right? We're bringing in a credit. So what am I going to, and let's just take a look at the metrics of this trade right here. This is a bear call spread. This is me saying, hey, Boeing, I don't think you're going to be above this ledge, this 375 in a couple weeks. Well, what if you're wrong? Isn't it, I don't know, has a rip your face off rally? Well, we bought some upside calls. So this is called a bear call spread. I'm risking ah, about 55 to potentially make 3,300 bucks. And what's really cool about a bear call spread, folks, is we make money three out of four ways, okay? How do we make money three out of four ways? Well, that you see this blue line right here, folks? This blue line right here is the current price of Boeing, right? What? How do we make money? Boeing can go down, duh. Folks, Boeing can hang out. Let's, Wiz, it just hangs out on this ledge. We make money. Folks, Boeing can even go up a little bit as long as it stays below our break even, which is 375.94. Isn't that cool? Three out of four ways. The only way this trade loses money, this bear call spread, is if what? Boeing has a rip your face off rally. Okay? So everybody got that. Give me a quick virtual vertical head nod. Wiz, I get it. This is you're bearish on Boeing. You're using calls and it's a spread. Now, there's a lot of good, astute people. I love this crowd, man. You guys, awesome. Bob, Wiz, I get it. Now, folks, let's go back to what I first said. If I think Boeing's going to go down, I could buy a bear put spread. But you know what? Why buy the bear put spread when you can have somebody else help finance it? So let's do that. So I'm going to take some of this credit that we're taking in and do that. I'm going to buy that bear put spread. So buy, sell, let me make sure I got the right number of contracts in here. 35, 35. And let's take a look. I, I, I mean, if there's no bottom on this thing, we could like maybe buy the, let's take a, like a look at the 350 puts and then the 347 and a half, something like that. Let's see what this looks like. Let me just click over here real quick and see what the risk is. Uh, we need to buy those and sell those. Let me take a look at the picture. Okay, so check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Let me. I'm going to click over to here real quick. Don't look at the numbers. Just look at the at the picture. You ready? Check this. Look at the picture over here on the right. The PNL diagram. Bear call spread. Bear put spread. So, folks, this double vertical is simply two vertical spreads on top of each other with the same strategic mindset. In this case, bearish. We think Boeing's going down. So now the risk is a little too much. You know, we're risking 73 here. So let's come down in our contracts a little bit. So let's see what the risk is here. That's eh, still, I, I want to get it to around five grand. My, I'm going to teach you when you join uh, Top Gun Options to have an SOP. Standard, yep, just like the squadron, man, SOP. Whoops, that's the wrong color here. One second. SOP. SOP, standard operating procedure. For example, if you have a, you know, maybe $100,000 model portfolio, maybe you don't want to risk more than 5% on any one trade, about five grand. Whiz, I got a 50 grand portfolio. Okay, come up with your own SOP. Maybe you don't want to risk more than, I don't know, 2,500 bucks. As an options trader, folks, as a naval aviator, before I went on any mission, I this is the first thing you're always going to look at. I'm going to teach you when you trade with me live a couple days a week, you always, always, always look at max loss first. If you don't like this, don't do it. it, it, it this is based on 25 contracts. Remember this, folks. Wiz, I, I only want to risk 2,500 bucks. Well, maybe you do 15 contracts. So this $5,200 in risk is based on the 25 contracts. Okay, now let's take a look at some really cool metrics on this trade. I'll, I'll put the trade back up in a second here. Let's just take a look at the risk here. We're risking 5,200 bucks to maybe make 7,300 bucks, right? Now, if you're sitting here going, well, Wiz, look at the probabilities of this trade. Folks, this E-Trade platform, you know what it does? It shows you the absolute best and absolute worst case scenario, right? So if Boeing implodes and goes below 347.5, which is a distinct possibility, that's right here. Look at the bottom of this Keltner channel. I mean, 347.5 is, it, it, 
if Boeing sneezes next week, this trade can make 7,300 bucks, right? But look at this, 28%, 20, that, those aren't hyper. Look at the probability, folks, that this trade at least breaks even or that you make some scratch. Holy crap, With, yeah. There's a 68% probability between now and April 12th that this trade at least breaks even. That is a very high probability trade, okay? So yeah, I'll, 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 you bet, Steve. Here's the order form. This is what it would look like, right? And you could put this in, folks. Your broker. I mean, this is a this is a bearish double vertical. You can call it a. I think the old trade monster. I, I hate using words twice. I think the old trade monster platform called it a vertical spread spread. I hate people who use two words in a row. It's like people who say, "Hey, I need to hit the ATM machine." I'm like, you need to hit the automated teller machine machine. So you could put this order in as one trade. I don't. I put these in as two separate trades. Why? Because you see this bid ask, you most likely will get a better fill doing this as two separate trades than you will as one big trade. I can tell you all about that in our full throttle training. Don't want to eat up too much uh, time on that. But yeah, I would leg in. I'd put on the bear call spread and the uh, bear put spread as two separate trades. Thank you, Mary. Yeah, never seen it, it. But doesn't it intuitively make sense? I think Boeing's going down, Wiz. Okay, well, if you think Boeing's going down, you also think it ain't going up. So do a bear call spread and bring in some coin, right? Take some of that coin and do what you originally wanted to do, which was place a trade on it going down. So ladies and gentlemen, this, yeah, this is called a bearish double vertical. And you can do this in the exact same uh, other direction, folks, too, right? <laughs> wow, you're good. Thanks. No, Kevin, this is not, this is not an iron condor, folks. So an iron condor, ladies and gentlemen, is a range-bound trade. Good question. An iron condor means, Wiz, I think Boeing's staying in this range. Iron condor range-bound. Folks, this is a double vertical. We need that, okay? And I just kind of briefed you on my strategic mindset with what's going on with Boeing. I think this is, I, you know, I think Boeing's going to absolutely uh, implode. So everybody understand that. This is not an iron condor. An iron condor is you think something's going to stay in a range. A double vertical means you think something's going to implode or explode. Right? You can do, and I'll teach you when you become a TGO member, that you can do a bullish double vertical on something. You, Wiz, I think something's going to see a rip your face off rally. You can do a bullish double vertical. Now, let me ask you guys a question. I'm going to test your options knowledge here. This bear call spread is a credit spread. This bear put spread is a debit spread. Let's say we wake up. Wednesday and Boeing imploded and this trade is seeing some nice profits which trade would you close first to take a little profit and keep a smile on your face which trade would you close first the bear put or the bear call spread if you're seeing some profit some of you got it you would close the bear put why because of this Greek I'm going to teach you when you become a TGO member called Theta. It's called time decay. Remember, folks, when you sell something, down here in Fort Lauderdale, the Ferrari dealership doesn't look like a Ferrari dealership because it's poor or they give stuff away. The dude like me with his midlife crisis pulling out of the parking lot, as soon as you pull out of the parking lot, folks, what happens to you? You get Theta. You get, well, Theta hits you, time decay. So if we're seeing some significant profits with this bearish double vertical, well, first of all, if we're seeing significant profits and Boeing's really imploding, I'm probably going to let it ride. I'd like the max profit of 7300 bucks if Boeing implodes. Let's just say over the coming weeks, there ain't going to be good news for Boeing. If China cancels their massive 20, what is it, $26 billion order? So Indonesia just canceled $6 billion. Ours are still grounded because uh, the president made a really bad call. Um, you know, I I probably let this ride for the uh, for, for the max profit. So uh, <laughs> Fitzroy, young women come up to you after you buy your Ferrari. So 
Uh, Scott, yeah, Scott. Well, I'll teach everybody about data when you uh, get on here. So, but there are a lot of ways to skin this cat, folks. But if you are, remember, when I got into this tactic, I said what? You need three R's. You need to be really, really, really bearish on something or bullish. So having said that, with Boeing, I'm really, really, really bearish. You could do this exact same tactic, and I don't have enough time to pull uh, off both trades, but you would do this exact same tactic on FXI. As I said, we did this last week with a weekly options and an urgent alert trade that made 70, 70 50 on about 10 grand in risk. It's a hell of a return on risk there, folks. We're going to do it next week as well. We're going to pound China into the dirt. The FXI is going lower, folks. So I would, if you join, you know what, in a couple minutes here when I get to wrap up, I'll tell you how you can join. Uh, but next week, come fly formation with us, folks, and see how we're going to, and after hours, FXI was down even more. This is not a bullish chart for FXI, folks. I do not see any good news coming out of uh, out of these negotiations. Like I said, Mnuchin, uh, Wilbur Ross, all those guys are on an airplane heading over uh, to to talk, and maybe maybe we get something signed or at least a framework in April, and then maybe up here at Mar-a-Lago the president uh, hangs out with Xi. So there ain't. So yes, I would. Yeah, absolutely, uh, Dave. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you in a couple minutes how you guys can join up. So. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. Um, does anybody have any questions about this bearish, uh, the uh, the bearish double vertical? Real quick, folks, we do. Uh, what was it the other night? I did a, uh, geez, an hour and a half training session on the double verticals. So when you become a member here, you get access to what we call full throttle training, right? We do eight training sessions. So if you're sitting here going, uh, hey, Wiz, I don't even know how to spell. Uh, you know, the word options, like some of my Marine buddies, right? Uh, don't worry about it because we have eight sessions that take you from this is a call, this is a put, all the way up to being a Jedi master. Covered calls, collars, uh, bearish spreads, bullish spreads, double vert. Yeah, this session, session six, bullish and bearish double vertical. So I take an hour and a half to teach you about this individual uh, topic. It's seven o'clock at night. After hours, we've got a glass of peanut noir, uh, and we go through it. Nobody leaves with a question mark over their head at uh, at any time. So, uh, yeah, it, uh, Scott, I like the way you said that. This may seem overwhelming, but I sense that your training style will make it comprehensible. Scott, I got to give full and proper credit to the United States Navy's training program. When I went through flight school, Scott, in Pensacola. There was a dude who had never seen it. He, the first flight this guy had in an airplane was to flight school. I think he was like Montana, one of those mid-states. He flew to Pensacola on an airplane. Six months later, he's flying a fighter jet. There was also a guy in my flight school class that flew Lear jets. He flew corporate and then wanted to fly for the Navy. That dude almost failed out. The Navy will teach you what the, you need to know. So, Scott, we take a building block approach here at Top Gun Options. So the tactic that I just showed you, Scott, is a little further on in our training. It's uh, session kind of six. But what we do, Scott, is Monday through Thursday from 1 until about 2.30 every day. Uh, you're welcome, man. I, it was an honor serving. Um, the uh, yeah, so we take a building block approach. So we start, everybody starts the same. This is a call, this is a put, uh, and we're going to end up, uh, I think our last session we do is, is iron condors. So yeah, look at this. Our, our first session is on where I gather my intelligence sources, our proprietary trade plan, and our methodology. Step two is options basics. So we take a building block approach, folks. I, I don't airdrop you in the middle of Afghanistan and just blast out trade alerts uh, with, with no ideas. So having said that, folks, here's what we do here at Topkin Options. We do live trade briefs Monday through uh, Monday through Thursday. Fr uh, Fridays are my coaching days. I, uh, I reserve Friday. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching with clients, so that's a full day of coaching for me. But Monday through Thursday from 1 to 2.30, we do uh, our live trade briefs, right? And then you're also going to get access to our eight training sessions, folks. Like I said, starting with step one, how the earth cooled and the dinosaurs came about, all the way up to uh, nuclear physics here in session eight, iron condors, okay? I'm not going to sit here and scroll through everything you're going to get with our full throttle training. Let's just say, you know what? Actually, where's our full throttle? Uh, uh, Jeanette said, hey, Wiz, can you hook us up with a really good value uh, for this webinar. Let me do something real quick. Uh, let me go go dot 
topcountoptions.com slash FT. So this, folks, next week we actually have a big full throttle launch uh, where we open up the doors to our squadron and you guys get to come in and see us live. At the end of next week, you ready for this? The end of next week, we're going to be offering annual memberships for, they're just under three grand, $29.95. And then there's uh, some lesser price services, $19.95. But Jeanette's like, hey, Wiz, I love Jeanette, been working, uh, Kevin, the link in one second. Give me, love when people ask for the link before I even get to it. What I'm showing you, this is, next week we're doing a full throttle launch, a full week of live trading and training. Uh, but uh, Jeanette and I have been buddies for a while. I'm going to do this. I'm going to offer a quarterly, Four ninety-seven per quarter. Okay, four. Let me. I'm a political science major, guys. I'm sorry. Four ninety-seven times four equals. That's nineteen ninety-eight. Next week, if you attend our full throttle training, to get the full throttle max, you're going to pay twenty-nine ninety-five. This is just for this webinar, because Jeanette bought me a lot of drinks in Vegas. If you go to this link go.topkinoptions.com slash yes. This is this is ain't going to be valid next week. I guarantee you, folks. So, Jeanette, I just sent that to you. Or actually, I can post that in there. So, folks, it's four ninety seven a quarter, which, doing my political science math, is nineteen eighty eight. Our full throttle max membership next week, when we open up the doors to the public, is three. It's twenty nine ninety five. So, real quick, folks, if you can't recognize. <laughs> getting something for 1988 and that's quarterly. I mean, you can cancel. Yeah. I mean, you can do a quarter and go, you know, it was, uh, you know, I'm smarter than you are. I can walk on the rice paper and, you know, grab the pebble from your hand. Great. So give it a shot for a quarter. It's 497 uh, bucks folks. But like I said, and some of you have probably uh, already signed up for our full throttle for next week. So let me, so here you go. Here's our full throttle uh, next week. We Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all that type of stuff. I am telling you for a fact, this is our. This is what we sell next week. Look at our lowest price thing we're selling next week. You don't get everything you're going to get if you do the quarterly. So I'm here to hook you up with the quarterly subscription uh, for four ninety seven. And it, it, what's that? That's essentially a thousand dollars off. So uh, I did this just for Jeanette. Uh, I'm telling you, if you come to Full Throttle next week, if you want to get into the Full Throttle Max program, it is going to be twenty nine ninety five unless you do this uh, by using this link. Go.topkinoptions.com. Really easy to remember. Go.topkinoptions.com slash yes. Yes, I like it. All right, got a little bit of time left, and then uh, my buddy John Thomas is going to be jumping on here. But let me uh, open the Q&A box. And uh, wanted to rip through that because I think this, especially in this market, folks, a bearish double vertical, uh, why does it say for three months? Bradley, uh, it's a quarterly subscription, four ninety seven dollars per quarter. Okay, so to rebuild four ninety seven dollars every quarter until you say, I don't want it. That's why. Instead of doing, uh, yes, uh, Sean, if you, Sean says, is that for life? You ready for this, folks? You will have zero price increases. I have people that have been TGO members since uh, nine, ten years ago that are paying like $495 a year. I've never raised the prices on existing members. That's just bullshit. That's that is bull. Uh, so I would never do that. Uh, Sean, good qu uh, question. SPX forecast, TJ, that's what I was going to get to. One of the reasons I wanted to show you this double vertical, folks, is what's the catalyst to do this? Right. We've had a, you know, here's October 3rd with Jerome Powell blinking or actually not blinking, saying I'm going to do my job. Here's Jerome Powell blinking. Folks, we got a little bit of time about a month ago before earnings. I don't think we're going to be hearing super good news out of the China trade deal. So SPX forecast to me is I think we're heading back down to at least touch this uh, this 200 day moving average, in my opinion. So the reason I wanted to do this double vertical today was maybe empower you guys, even if you don't sign up for TGO to at least know what a double vertical is because look at these, we were, my God, we had a great time. If this, if you were not having fun back here, you were trading wrong, man. This was bullish and bearish double vertical heaven. That's why I said that, you know, the title of this webinar was targeting profits in a hostile environment. We absolutely printed money using this tactic called a double vert. Yeah, I'll leave it on the screen for a couple minutes more. That's the trade right there. I'd look, and obviously this is after hours, guys. It's Saturday. I apologize for the noise in the background. If I could, let me describe the scene. A big unicorn, inflated unicorn, uh, two balloons with 
one and four. There's a 14-year-old girl's birthday, I think, that is starting at 2 o'clock uh, in the room next to me, so I apologize for this. Kevin, I couldn't agree more. China deal will be a head fake because it's a fake deal. Everybody's heard the Wall Streetism, buy on the rumor, sell on the news. I absolutely agree that it's going to be a sell on the news, and I'm going to teach you how to print money when we do that. Like I said, folks, uh, men lie, numbers don't. If you buy this full throttle 497 today, you are locked in the rest of your life as long as you're a full throttle member at 497. If you join us next week for our full week of trading, look at this. We start Monday, was it uh, Monday through Thursday of next week. I open up the doors. You can come check us out for a week. You will not, I promise you, you will not get the 497 quarterly. This is what we offer next week. When Jeanette says, Wiz, I need a really good deal for, uh, for these folks. They're pretty cool. I said, all right, man. Uh, and, uh, and, and, I, and I hooked her up. So $4.97 a quarter, folks. You will be paying this next week if you come to our full throttle. Uh, so hopefully you do the wise thing and recognize a pretty good trade, okay? Jeanette, since I was late uh, and gooned up with my transport, and Susie just shot me a text at the FPL, our power is back on. I'm going to revise and extend my remarks and uh, reserve the balance of my time unless people have any more questions. Uh, Eli, if you want to fly in the military, do you recommend being a private pilot? So, uh, Eli, the most I would do if you wanted to fly for the military, don't get anything more than a private license. Like I said, uh, the Navy's going to teach you what you need to know, kind of like me with options. You can go to other services, folks, and they'll give you a 92-slide presentation on volatility. I'm going to boil it down to about three slides. We used to say this all the time in fighter aviation. How do you battle complexity? You battle complexity with simplicity. I'm going to make trading options simple, folks. I was a poor kid from New Jersey, Irish Catholic, one of six kids, political science major. It ain't rocket surgery, folks. If I can do it, you can do it. I guarantee you, you can do this. And I'm going to break it down. Uh, so it's going to be Bob. Yes, I am. I'm in. Uh, I'm in God's waiting room right now, Boca Raton. Like I said, the transformer blew out on my street. I thought I had a half an hour, and Jeanette's like, uh, "Dude, you're supposed to be on." So I raced over here to the Boca Resort to do uh, to do this brief. And like I said, there's a 14 year old girls party getting started next door uh, with a big unicorn and a lot of screaming teenagers. So I apologize about the noise here. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Kevin, ever been to Intrepid? Yeah, love it. Bob, yes, absolutely we are. Uh, yeah, real quick, I will show this on the screen one more time, this trade. I'm glad, uh, thank you for the kind words, uh, all the kind words here, folks. This is a really cool tactic. Yeah, I'll, I'll put the P&L chart up here. Bearish double vertical. Bear call spread, bear put spread. We need Boeing to do that, right? But as I said, folks, look at this. There's a 68% uh, degree of certainty using at the money volatility based on the close with Friday's options that you at least, at least break even. Okay. I don't know too many. I know a lot of market makers. I know a lot of dudes that work at Boeing. Uh, and I'm telling you, well, let's just say uh, the mood is dour. This is a cliff, folks. Most stocks don't bounce rate. I don't know too many people who are jumping in uh, to a stock that says FBI, criminal investigation, Department of Transportation, FAA investigations, Indonesia canceling orders, and uh, the planes grounded in the United States. I, I, I don't know who gets bullish on that stock. Do not catch uh, a falling knife. Uh, Mr. Hobbs, love the military and your approach. Thanks. You're welcome. Bob, awesome presentation. Thank you again for your service. Thanks. Awesome, guys. Thanks for all the kind words. I'm going to get going uh, because uh, I think the mom just walked in uh, with the girl, and they're about to start screaming here. <laughs> so I promise you at Top Gun Options, I don't do my live trade briefs next to uh, rooms full of screaming teenagers. Uh, so I appreciate your flexibility. Jeanette, my apologies for my screw-up, uh, thinking I can race here uh, with the power out and make it. So thank you for putting up with my... Uh, Buffoonery, Jeanette. Like I said, folks, this is this it's is the four ninety seven you're gonna all get. Good. Uh, it's all good. All right, Jeanette. Well, thanks say, for everything. Hey, say your link again because I've got a different link and I was about to post it up and I've, I've got a different link. Say it for me so I can edit this slide real quick. Okay, yeah, it's go.topgunoptions.com/yes. Topgun. And this is the quarterly. It's it's usually twenty nine ninety five for a year. You're getting a thousand bucks off. Uh, but like I said, you know, I got the full sure. throttle next week and the prices go back up to. Uh, to full price, man. All right, so it has to, to be, uh, uh, has to have the HTTPS in front of it. Okay. All right, good. All right. You should just be able to do the, uh, the go. go 
but I don't know, man. That's technology. Right. It scares me. Uh, look, me too. Not not going to lie. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm dismissing you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You bet. You. Thanks, Jeanette. You guys have a great weekend and uh, hoping to see you next week. God bless. We'll see you. Later. Bye.